I'm gonna show you the right way to make crepes. The first thing you wanna do is mix your batter in a blender. You can't over mix it and this will ensure that your batter stays nice and smooth. Next, let your batter rest for 20 or 30 minutes. This relaxes the glutens, which is really just a fancy way of saying you're gonna have nice tender crepes. It's important to use the right pan. This is when you wanna grab a nonstick skillet or even a traditional French crepe pan. A nonstick surface is essential for flipping crepes. Pouring crepe batter is all about restraint. Pour lightly, swirling the pan as you go, and always pour the excess back into the blender. After about a minute, your crepe will start to pull itself away from the sides of the pan. Peek underneath, if it's starting to look brown, use your fingers and give it a flip. Now you're ready to fill your crepe. My favorite is really simple. I add a little pat of butter, I swirl it with a spoon so I don't tear the crepe, top it with some powdered sugar, give it a squeeze of lemon juice, and it makes a beautiful light icing. 